start. All right, so uh, today I'm going to show you how to fix soldering on a cluster. A lot of times what will happen is um, the needle will, will, will work, but if they're intermittent, like it comes on and it goes off, uh, that's all, especially in these older clusters, like the 94 through 96 clusters, they're almost always bad soldering. If the needles are just dead um, or they're just wiggling, that's usually a stepper motor. That's a little bit more advanced. I think there's another guy that has a video on how to replace the stepper motor. But today I'm just going to show you how to do the soldering, which is pretty easy. So uh, the first thing you do is there's eight screws right here. They're a little star bit. I like to just use my screwdriver. i take those out. And I've already done that. So then you pull this out pretty easy. Uh, after that... What we're gonna do is, um, let's take a look here. I'm gonna grab the phone and just show you. These are, it's the the black and red connectors right there where they fasten to the board. These series of uh, soldering points are very weak. Now, I'm gonna try and zoom in and see if you can, if, if the camera will focus here for us right there. If you look real closely, you can actually see that there's like almost little rings around there or it's kind of flat. Um, that these ones, there's another one there, second from the end, you can kind of see um, that is where the soldering broke. So what we're going to do is we're just going to simply go ahead and re-solder that. Now, if you're really good with a soldering iron or maybe just lazy, you can go ahead and and uh, right now just solder it as it is. I don't like to do that because every time I try and stick a solder underneath the speedometer portion, I end up hitting that plastic. So what I do is I take another step. Here you go. You can go ahead and take this back. Um, and I take this part off. It doesn't take too long. It's pretty easy. Um, it's a little tricky to take uh, the needles off. You have to pry them off. Put something underneath your screwdriver to protect the gauge, and then you just pull those off. Sometimes they're a little tricky. Sometimes they come off pretty easy. It looks like these are going to come off pretty easy. Oop, this one's going to be a little bit trickier. Here we go. Um, if you don't put that uh, little piece of paper on there, you'll scratch the surface, so you don't want to do that. Uh, once you have those off, you simply... Uh, take this back piece off. The back piece off comes off pretty easy. There's a little piece, uh, thing you put right there. And then you go over here and you just push in these little tabs. And the black cover will pop right off. Usually it'll pop right off. There we go. Once you're that far, now you just simply need to take off eight screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll do that real quickly. Oops, I don't have the right bit on there. Uh, so you don't need a screwdriver to do this, but it makes the job a lot easier. Eight screws up. Now this will pretty much come right off. There's only a couple little spots that uh, it helps if you pinch these guys just a little bit. Right down here, there's a little bit of a tab that'll hold. Sometimes you don't really need a wire uh, cutters like I'm using, but if you pinch that just a little bit, it'll let go. Doing a good job there, Tabern. Okay. There we go. Now, the one thing you do want to do is when you pull this off, there are a couple of parts that'll fall out if you're not careful. And if they fall out, it's no big deal. But um, essentially, these little parts there will fall right out. So, what I usually like to do is keep them just like this. Now, you also notice these are sort of loose in there. And so I just put that one back in. This one's stuck to the board, so I'm just going to pull it off of there and put it back in its place. These will come across uh, off if you're not easy or not careful, so just put that right back in there. Okay, so now we have the board free. Now it's pretty easy to do, right? Now we're just going to go ahead and solder each of those. I have my uh, trusty soldering iron here. I usually like to add a little bit of solder to each joint. And so I just go ahead and hit each joint with solder. And that's it. Just a little bit of solder like that. And then the thing will work as good as new. And then put it together just to reverse as taking it apart. 
and that's that. So uh, hopefully that helps folks understand what needs to be done to fix these. As soon as I put it back in my car, it'll work as good as new. And I like to do this on both the black connector and the red connector. The red connector, if you look closely, doesn't use most of the pins, but um, it's still a good idea anyway. The red connector is mostly for some of the safety features like the the brake and the ABS and a few things. But this top, these top set of, uh, of soldering points are the ones that really need uh, the work. So you just hit these and you'll be as good as new. All right, if you got any questions, feel free to leave comments on the video. Um, I'm more than happy to answer questions. Uh, if you're not comfortable soldering, but you have this problem, you're welcome to send me your cluster and, and I'm well happy to do this repair for a small fee. So um, I do it all the time. Thanks again.